Hi everyone, it's Kim. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to do a quick review of the Easter cards I've done so far. Um, I have done video on, videos on these, so you can check my channel for that. And then we're going to go ahead and do a fourth Easter card that's a little different than what I've done so far. So, so far I've done this one. Um, this is a Cricut Design Space image. Again, you can check to see um, how that was done on one of the videos that I've just done. Um, this one here is a little bit of um, using the Artist's Loft watercolor pens and some watercolor paper and a stamp and then I just uh, recently did this little um, bunny one uh, using my Cards TV Cards Design Team stamps and so we'll set those aside and we're going to do this one. Now this one is going to be um, a little bit more of a religious themed card. Um, I went ahead and started out with a uh, cream colored cardstock. Um, I do have another one. I'm going to be making two of them here. Um, this one here I, I found some scraps in my scrap bin of that cream color. And this one is American Crafts and then this is uh, Recollections. And I took a five and a quarter by four inch white piece of cardstock and I ran it through my oval frame from Sizzix. I'm going to hold this up a little bit closer. Maybe you guys can see it better. It's It has these um, special leave type um, um, design here and then the oval frame. So I'm going to be putting the cross in between or in the middle of that. Now I got this cross from uh, it was a free image from Easter 2010 on the Cricut Design Space and then I made these flowers here that I'm going to be showing you the um, die cut for that and that's going to be going on there. Um, this is the cross here. Um, I'm not going to put the glue and show you how to do that because that's pretty simple stuff so that's going to end up like that. All right so here is the die cut that I used for the flowers. Uh, this is called uh, Biddy Blossoms by Spellbinders. This is how I store all of my um, die cuts. I'm going to move my camera just a second. Hold on. It's too far down. Okay there we go. Thanks for hanging in there on that one. And I just ran it through some uh, with some yellow cardstock. And when you go to take it off, you'll see how this kind of um, comes up like this. This part you don't you don't need. And then you're gonna just give it a little push. You don't need to use wax paper or anything like that for um, these. But there are die cuts that wax paper really helps if it has intricate holes. <clears throat> and just mute gentle. You know whether you're using thick cardstock or not. You want to be gentle with it. And the way I do it, make sure my glue is ready. My glue is almost out so it's being a little tricky. The way I do it is I take um, the petals in my left hand and I pinch the end with my tweezers. And I'm going to give it one twist. Um, maybe a couple times. And then I just kind of flip it over and put a dab of glue. That kind of helps hold it um, in its place as you're twisting it around. Um, I don't tend to do this quickly because I want to make sure that everything is staying together. Um, if you get really good at it and confident, you know, I guess you could just twist it up real quick. Put another dab of glue. These are really pretty flowers. And just put another dab of glue. And as I'm doing it, I try to make it so that it's staying, you know, all level or even. And you're almost at the end. You don't want to pull it too tight when you're gluing it because you're going to want to open up those petals. Isn't that cute how that's turning out? And then I usually just go to the end and I put a dab of glue here. Now you want to put a fair amount of glue on this bottom. Because what you're going to do is you're going to twist it around. Oops. Twist it around and then see this area right here. You're going to push that down onto your, to that um, flat part there. And um, using glue, you can kind of just you know, hold it together with your fingers like this until the glue starts to solidify 
or dry, I guess, use some big words there. And then what I do is I just, as it's, as it's drying, I just kind of hold it together and, you know, bring the petals out like so. And then you end up getting, I'm set that aside, let it dry, um, these flowers here. And then you can play around with them a little bit. You can open it up more or whatever you'd like to do. Um, these little leaves here are actually cut by hand. I didn't have a small enough um, dye leaf. Um, you could do this on the Cricut or the Silhouette, whatever um, die cut machine that you have. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our layer on. Kind of oozed out there, didn't it? Now, the one thing that I didn't do uh, to get prepared for this video was I'm going to be going on the uh, Cricut Design Space and I'm going to be typing in Have a Blessed Easter and I'm going to be putting a white layer on the inside of this. Um, I did not do that before this video, but that just gives you an idea of how I'm going to be completing the card. Make sure you've got an even border around. a lot of glue on there. Don't usually put that much glue on there. Okay, then I want to go ahead and grab some foam tape. That's not laying flat there. I guess I didn't get the glue far, than, for, far enough on the edge of the layer there. And I'm going to pop this up. Trying to get that separated. And it's going to go on here. And then I put my three flowers on. And I've sort of already placed where I want them to go. Now I'm being very generous with my glue. Um, hot glue gun would work better, but I don't have that set up. Put that one there. That one there. Now, I didn't want to cover up the embossing design here. That's why I'm putting them like so. Oh, my little leaf decided to come along for the ride. And then this one here. My fingers got glue on it, sticking. So let's go ahead and use this glue, this extra glue here, to put this leaf on here. Sticky fingers. Let's go to the tweezers. That'll be better. Bring this around. Now, when um, this is all done drying, I'm going to go ahead and give the leaf a little bit more dimension. Again, I, I want to put color in this, but I don't want to cover up the, the embossing. And I'll put this one right here. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do to this card. Um, I was thinking about maybe putting something up here. Um, but I didn't want to confuse the eye when you're looking at a photo where it's going to be looking up and down and up and down. This way, you know, the cross is the primary um, focal point, and then you have the uh, beautiful um, yellow flowers here that just add a little bit more to it. All right, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Have a great day.